I'm Olympic Fan 2 and today I want to show you my new home app. You can see it is now in my cellar and I think it's a lot more better. I have now a little bit more working place and more storage cabinet. The first thing I want to start with is um, the most obvious um, thing. On this little um, chair I have um, some bottles with household materials. For example calcium chloride as a drying agent and some other things like chlorine bleach and uh, ethanol to um, remove um, stains or other um, dirty things. A hot plate a little notebook, lab notebook, and a fire extinguisher, CO2 fire extinguisher. So this is my working table. You can see that it has a um, the old working space that I had in the earlier videos. I have here a stand, as you can see. I made it myself some old glassware which is broken, a radio, some paper towel, distilled water and the most important thing that you can see here this is my new film hood which I built a few months ago and you have already seen it in my new videos. The hood is um, made of um, wood with plastic layer about it so um, it is resistant to most chemicals. Now I'll let you get a quick look inside. Here's the lamp. And there's about a um, place to do most work that need to be done in a few months. Underneath we have a um, storage cabinet. Oh, we have three storage cabinets here. First one is the most smallest storage cabinet I have. It's this blade. I store in things like safety glasses, uh, tongs, um, pipettes, a long pipette, some gloves and um, a lab goggle, lighters, glass rods and other things that you already need in the lab. So, the second storage cabinet is under the fume hood. It is a... It contains mostly household things like um, test tubes and also some strangers um, towels and um, an old beer bottle which I used in some videos. The most more important cabinet is this one here. As you can see on the label it's the um, cabinet for toxic chemicals and I store here, I can't say I had uh, much chemicals in here, I have um, here are the halogens, bromine water, elemental bromine, iodine, and uh, some pool chlorine. And uh, I have some lithium, some mercury, some sodium, some um, potassium dichromate, or phenolphthalein. <laughs> now the most, the more obvious um, cabinet is this one here. As you can see here is a mirror, so you can see me. And um, but here is the um, the place where I store flammable liquids and um, bases, also oxidizing agents, but not too much, and also um, a few bottles of hydrochloric acid. Here are the um, the lab glassware, test tubes, and other things you need in the lab. Beakers, um, flasks, 
and so on. Now the last cabinet is this one here, this is the acid cabinet and salt cabinet. Here are most chemicals I store. For example, um, copper to sulfate or sodium acetate, copper to acetate, um, hydrogen peroxide, sulfur, red phosphorus or for example boric acid or borax, nitric acid and so on. Now underneath here are some old um, boxes and um, this contains mostly um, old um, chemicals and old glassware and here is the metal cabinet for example I store lead, aluminium, copper, magnesium powder and so on and here are the empty bottles which I need to which I can use to um, refill, uh, to fill chemicals in it yes so I um, hope I get new glassware next time and um, I also order some new chemicals would order some new chemicals in next time and I think that you like my little home lab it's not too big but I think it's enough for a person like me with 16 years and I hope you liked it so thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment